Most people in America are familiar with what is and isn't an insult in terms of what does and doesn't push their buttons. What we know about foreigners in America today is many of them are not here legitimately or powerfully in terms of their regard and respect for our culture. In American society, we have kind of a form of propriety that says that we're not going to try to purchase food for someone without speaking to them. In America, despite the fact we might have a birth origin or someone that we might know in terms of bloodline, that doesn't mean that our food allergies aren't still present today. What we also know about a time of COVID is that people have the rights to say no to free food today, especially when you prove that there's a problem in the food because basically what you did was offer the food, we rejected it, you tried to set it down to enforce it on us, we still said no and it pissed us off to the point that we had to tell you off. There was nothing in your facial expressions, nothing in your attitude that showed that you were interested in actually doing something loving and kind. And if someone else hired you to deliver the food, then you should have fucking said so and provided in that mood. But even then, people would be skeptical. You see, there's been no conversation with anyone in my life today saying they're trying to buy me some soup today. And I am not particularly someone who's going to just naturally accept food from a total stranger. And we teach that in every area of the world today. Too many people have COVID, too many people have flu, too many people have allergies, too many people have preferences, too many people have intelligences, and that's just common sense today.